Now here's the next one posted by Amulya, right? It says in a class of boys, Manish ranked 16 from the top and 29 from the bottom among those who passed in the examination. Six boys did not participate in the competition and five failed in it. How many boys were there in the class? Amulya, this is very simple, right? Why are you getting stuck here? In a class of boys, Manish ranked 16 from the top and 29 from the bottom among those who passed. So how many passed totally? See, we can find out the total number of passed students because Manish has passed and his rank is 16 from the top and 29 from the bottom. So total pass will be 16 plus 29 minus 1. Right? How much is that? 16 and 29 is 35, uh, 45 minus 1, 44. And then he says, 6 boys did not participate and 5 failed. So how many boys are there in the class? What will be the total? Total will be passed, which is 44 plus uh, failed, which is 5. And those who did not participate, six boys did not participate. So plus six. So 44 plus five plus six, 55 will be the answer, right? What is the confusion here? See, he's not asking us to find out how many boys have passed the exam. He's asking us to find out how many boys are there in the class totally, right? So total number of boys will be those who have passed plus those who have failed plus those who did not participate. In a row of girls and boys, Soumya is six from the top and Mohan is 12th from top. Soumya is 4th from the top and 6th from bottom among girls. Mohan is 7th from top and 24th from bottom among boys. Find the number of girls and boys between Soumya and Mohan. Right? Different options have been given to us. So understand, what do we do? In a row of girls and boys, Soumya is 6th from top and Mohan is 12th from top. So clearly this is about the overall class. 6th from top and Mohan is 12th from top. Next it says, Soumya is 4th from top and 6th from bottom among girls. Right? Remember this. Similarly, Mohan is 7th from top, 7th from top and 24th from bottom among boys. Right? So their overall class positions are given and with respect to girls and boys respectively also, the positions from top and bottom are given to us. What is he asking us to find out? The number of girls and boys between Soumya and Mohan. Number of girls and boys between Soumya and Mohan. Let us just choose the first point. Right? Soumya is 6th from top. So you know that if you you know do the ranking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 will be Soumya, right? 6 will be Soumya. And Mohan is 12th from top. So 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th. This would be Mohan. Yes or no? So Soumya is 6th from top. Mohan is 12th from top. This is done. Now what is he asking us to find out? Number of boys and girls between Soumya and Mohan. First of all, how many positions are there between Soumya and Mohan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Only 5 positions, right? Between Soumya and Mohan, there are only 5 positions. 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. 5 positions. Look at the options. First option has got 5 boys and four, five girls and 4 boys. 9 persons eliminated. Second option, 4 boys, 1 girl is possible. Right? There are 5 persons. Maybe 4 are boys and 1 girl is possible. 4 girls, 4 boys eliminated because total should be 5. 4 girls, 2 boys eliminated. Total is 6 here. It should be 5. None of this you know is always possible. So from the first statement itself, you are able to eliminate 2 of the options. Uh, 3 of the options. Now only 2 are left out. Let's say you don't have much time now. Take a chance. Take a risk. Mark 2nd option and go to the next one. Or mark 5th option. If your gut feeling is that 2nd is, is not the answer, mark 5th option. Right? Mark any one of these. Because see, there is a 50-50 percent -50 chance that your answer would be correct. Right? Now, if you want to be sure about what the answer is, then you have to proceed and complete the solution. Now, how do you do this? Next statement. It says, Soumya is 4th from top and 6th from bottom among girls. Now, understand. Soumya is 4th from top among girls. Soumya is the 4th girl. Soumya is 4th from top in girls. Soumya is the 4th girl in the top persons here, right? So, Soumya is 4th girl among the top persons. Obviously, there are 3 girls above Soumya. Are able to follow? Remember, there are total 5 positions here. So, 3 are girls, I can say. Because Soumya is, Soumya is 4th from top among girls. So, Soumya is 4th from top among girls. Out of these 5 persons, 3 are girls. Whatever be their positions. 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 5, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4. Number of possibilities are there. But number of girls will be 3. So, 3 girls and then Soumya is the 4th. Now, it is obvious that out of these 5, if 3 are girls, the other 2 are boys. So, we are now clear that in the first 5 positions, 3 girls and 2 boys. Soumya will be the 6th girl. And it says 6th from bottom among girls. Now, I don't know if this point would be useful. Right? 6th from bottom among girls. I mean, we do not know the total number of persons. Right? Let us, let us use the other part now. Mohan is 7th from top. Mohan is 7th from top among boys. Understand, Mohan is here. Mohan is 7th from top among boys. Mohan is 7th boy. Among the top persons, Mohan's position is 7th. Only in boys. Mohan is the 7th boy. Which means, 
Above Mohan, there are six boys. If Mohan is the seventh boy, if Mohan is the seventh boy, there should be six boys above Mohan. Similar, like, like in the previous case, Soumya was the uh, fourth from top, right? Fourth girl. So obviously there are three girls above Soumya, right? Fourth girl. Similarly, Mohan here is seventh boy. Seventh boy, not boys. Seventh boy. So if Mohan is seventh boy from top, obviously there are six boys above Mohan. If there are six boys above Mohan, we already know that two boys have come here. So other four will come here. So I can say that in these persons, five persons, four are boys. And if four are boys, obviously one is girl. So your answer is this. That between Swami and Mohan, there are four boys and one girl.